Hi, I have a box opening today. This is a, um, it's not even really a reborn. I mean, it is a reborn in the sense of what a reborn is, but this is not a doll kit that I purchased. This is not a doll kit that I had the artist purchase or sent away for or made or whatever. Um, this is a very special reborn. Um, and I've been waiting for a little bit for her to get here. So I'm very excited to get her open. I just saw pictures of her finished. I think it was just three days ago. Two days ago. What's today? Tuesday? Yeah, I don't know. So we're going to get her open. is -da -da. and if you're like what the heck this is the way that I sent her to the artist <laughs> many blankets I think the box is way bigger too and that I think that was part of it she's a big baby and um, I didn't have a box and so I put her in this big box this other big box and so I put all these blankets with her so these these are blankets that I sent with her. So if you're wondering, it looks kind of different, but here's some little striped pants. So nice of her. She didn't have to send any. Look how cute these are. These are super cute. I like all these colors. They're kind of, um, they're not primary colors. They're, and they're not pastels. They're just any kind of pastels? I don't know. We got yellow, orange, dark pink, light pink. Um, is that a teal? I don't know. A light blue or sea foam. <laughs> My granddaughter went a while ago. We asked what her favorite color was and she said sea foam. And I think that's the kind of color that she kind of likes. So that's funny. And then this shirt. This is cute too, and um, the artist is in love with Reborns, so Stephanie Ortiz, and she told me, she goes, I don't have any clothes for her to send with her, and I said, that's 100% fine, because she's a big baby, look how cute this is, it says whoop whoop, and it has hearts, and diamonds, and lightning bolts, a rainbow, girl power, there's a ruffle around the sleeves, cherries, bow stars. That's a really cute shirt. So this is a big baby. And I didn't realize she was so big until she got her. She told me she wears size, she said, yeah, she says seven diapers, which is funny because when I had her as my doll before, so see that that's the story behind this. Um, I kept diapers on her, and I think I had size not newborn, but definitely not size seven. So that's super nice of her to give me some size seven diapers because I definitely do not have size seven diapers. So these are cute. They have a lion, lions on them. Parents' choice. Those are cute. And I saw this in her packing video that she put, or like her TikTok, and I was really excited about this because I don't have, I had one, I had a bottle, but I don't know if I still do, but I saw that she's making these, and it is a sealed, sealed bottle with formula in it, and these are f so fun, fun for props and stuff, I have never tried to make any so I dropped the lid I'll have to get it so I was way excited about getting that so here's the baby and I think I'm just going to unwrap her from the box because the TikTok that she made the video that she made when she's wrapping her up um she put the blankets in and then she put her in on the blankets so I think we're just going to do it like that. Let's figure out. 
where things are in a minute. So there's her head. You know what? Since I have her like that, I could probably take the rest of these blankets out. And to tell the truth, when I wrapped her in all these blankets and sent them to her, I never thought that I would get all these blankets back. So that is so nice of her to have done. I sent her um, this baby. Well, first, it was an idea that I'd had in my mind for a while. And I finally just thought, you know what, I'm going to I'm gonna ask um, Stephanie Ortiz. Because she, I think she had just done a Behringer baby. She would reborn a Behringer baby. And I thought she she's familiar with um, doing not your normal reborn vinyl kits. I'm just going to throw it out there and ask her. So I text, I messaged her and I said, and I'd bought some babies from her before. I have a few of her babies. And so um, she kind of knew of my name. I wasn't just some random person. And, um... I'd never talked to her before. I mean, I am a random person, but I'd never talked to her before. Um, but I hadn't never talked to her before. Um, I messaged her and I said, hey, I have this doll. And I have loved this doll since the fifth grade. This doll has never been not with me since the fifth grade. It's always been in whatever bedroom that I have been in. She's been out. She's been there. Um... I mean, since I got her, it has been like one of those things like if your house ever catches on fire. I don't know if a lot of people do that, but I do that. If my house ever caught on fire, what things would I want to grab? What I want to make sure gets out of the fire? And since I got her, she was one of those things. I mean, she just, she's meant a lot to me. And um, because of her age, she had become faded, her vinyl what little painting was on it because when I got her she was just a, a doll kit um, um, had faded and I just had this feeling when I got into Reborns how fun it would be to have that doll made into a kit or made into a Reborn repainted um, I carried her around all the time everywhere I went for a long time when I first got her back when I was like 10 um, took her to stores, had people stop me like, oh my gosh, I thought it was a real baby. I mean, reborns were nothing back then. And so she did look real. Um, my mom and dad paid a lot of money for her back in the day. A lot more than um, probably a lot of people would spend on a doll for their child. But um, yeah, anyway, I just saw her foot up. Uh, I cried when I opened her on Christmas. Anyway, and so I named her Christmas. So that's the long story. So, sorry. So I sent her, I asked her if she would be able to paint her. And she sent, asked for some pictures. And she said, I will try. And it actually turned into a bigger deal, I think, than she thought she was getting into. The body's been a problem. Um, she had blinky eyes. And now she just has, um, I think they're glass. I hope they're glass. I'm sure they're glass. Um glass eyes for reborns and she's just painted her all up so let's see what she looks like so here's her feet oh it's gonna be so weird seeing her a different color and she's so heavy because she's so big so here's her feet and I love her nails I love her coloring Oh, she is big. And I don't know what she did for her limbs. She had to have a special body even made for her. Luckily, she found, when I first sent her, she found another one on eBay. She asked if I'd ever seen one, another one she would like to paint one for herself. And there happened to be one on eBay right at that time. And it was only like... $20, $25, something like that, and she bought it, and she kind of practiced, like, cutting it apart, cutting the body apart and, and stuff, 
um, she had a motion thing in her body too because her head used to move, but that was not something that I really used as a, as a kid or ever used with her. But, so she sent the leg of the other body to the woman who made um, this body for her. So yeah, that's her new body. And that's her leg, and here's her hands. I'll have to pick it up and get it better. She's heavy because she's so big. Okay, you ready? Here's her face. Oh, it's Christmas. Oh, hi, baby. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Oh, it's so weird. I mean, I've seen pictures of her. Oh, and she has, like, textured hair, but you can't even, even see it. Oh, she did so good. So her name is Christmas, and she was my childhood baby that I have kept for, I don't want to date myself, but over 35 years, over 35 years old. And she's just come to life now. Oh, she's so cute. Hi, sweetie. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that she did this for me. You know, I never even realized that she, like, had a thumb <laughs> that would go in her mouth. And she's like, she said, I didn't put a pacifier, a magnet, because I think she'll take a modified pacifier. And that was so weird to hear because I was like, wait, what? I guess she would. Because I never thought of her in that way. I just thought, how remarkable would it be to get this doll that I have loved all these years painted and brought to life? heavy. Oh, she's so beautiful. This is a vintage outfit that she had that she put on her. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, she's just... Her neck did have, um, like her arms were sewn to her body, so I'm, I'm not, I don't know what they've done in here to make it so that they stay on. But her head, her head did have a zip tie when, when I had her, so. Okay, so this is Christmas. I think I'm going to do this. So here's her face. She said she had some problems with her eyes because of the mechanism that was inside, but I think she did beautiful on them. And she um, got the same colored eyes. She tried to match the color of, of her eyes before. And then here's her hand. Look at that, she like sucks her thumb. I don't know why I never even. This is her other hand. Isn't she precious? And here's her legs and her feet. Oh, so. Oh, what a. What a kind thing for her to do for me. <laughs> It's just so great. I love her so much. I guess Tambri, her her wife and her daughter, Tambri and um, Jackie were both saying how cute they thought she was and that she should paint the other one and sell her. So she might not be one of a kind, but she's one of a kind to me because she does have the other doll kit, but she said it was such a a big project that she doesn't know if she'll be doing it anytime soon. There she is. And I love how this one little eye is just slightly off more than the other one. 
I think it's cute. It's endearing. So this is Christmas. She's a, um, she's not a Behringer baby. She's, um, okay, let me think right now. She's Berjusa, Berjusa baby. She is a big girl. This body, I, I think I already said, has made her a little bigger because her other body she was sewn onto. Oh, she's just... So thanks for sharing in this moment with me. I don't know. I think she is just wonderful. Anyway, I guess, I guess I've never really had a dream kit before. I've never really had one that I've wanted more than anything. But now that I have her here, maybe this, she's been my dream kit the whole time. <laughs> it's so great to have her redone like this. I was worried it would take away from what she had been to me, but I don't think it has. I think it's just improved her. Anyway, so this is Christmas. I can't say the newest girl. I'll just say the most improved girl of the nursery. And we hope you all are out there doing well. The snow and cold of these almost spring days. And we love you guys and we will see you soon. Bye.